Uh, good afternoon, and it's a lovely sunny day today. I'm up in the man cave, and uh, a few bits and pieces going on. But first of all, what I've been doing this week is finishing off a squad of American Paras by Artisan. I've yet to plot a flock of uh, bases. Um, enjoy painting those. Uh, I'm glad I've got those out of the way. I think I purchased those at Selwig last year, or maybe Warfare. So glad to get them out of the way, out of the box. And I'm presently pacing up a four man gun crew by Artisan for a US Para 57mm anti tanker. So hopefully they'll be done this weekend. Now, I've been looking forward to the Muskets and Tomahawks second edition release, which I, I picked up last week and I've been reading through it. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how it works out as a game because we're very enthused by the first edition. And um, I don't know if I'm slightly underwhelmed by the second edition. Bear with me. Uh, lovely, it's a lovely produced book. Um, it cost it cost quite a lot of money. It's not cheap. Um, so that's the core rule book. You can see it's very thin. So if you compare that to the second edition of Black Powder, it's just my my opinion. Much racing. See that. Now bear in mind. This has um, a lot of bump that goes with it, a lot of scenarios um, which include army lists. But I thought, well, I thought, well, that's okay, that's the rule book itself. Uh, and I know that the expansions are going to cover ACW, Napoleonic, uh, hopefully Indian Mutiny. Um, so I thought, well, let's have a look. At one of the expansion book or the expansion book for muskets and tomahawks, the period itself, and this is that book. Now I've increased that. That's been sitting next to the bed while I'm me, me reading it. So then you go to say the, the, the what's that one there? Blood of the Nile. And you see, it's it's that seemed very cheap to me, although it's packed full of information. Uh, great pictures, as you can see. Again, nicely produced, but that is, yes, not sure. Also, I received uh, a sheet of card counters. Yeah. And a deck of cards, which I've heard are quite thin. I haven't opened those up yet, so they need to go into those little plastic pouches or pockets. Um, so, so I think overall, very nicely produced, very colourful. The rules seem to be very clear. Again, I haven't played them yet. Um, I'm looking forward to doing that. But price-wise, don't know. I'll be interested to hear your thoughts on it. I'll be totally wrong. And, and uh, um, I say it's a matter of opinion, but. Um, slightly underwhelmed possibly anyway that wasn't a rant or a mo so my mythical salute loot now um, I think I mentioned last time I'm going to spend a bit of money which I would have spent at salute to support the trailers uh, in, this, in this sort of rather trying time we live in um, so first up no first up was Something I probably left downstairs. I've got my ten sided dice delivered today. Four muskets and tomahawks. hooks. So not the most exciting stuff to receive, but it's always handy to have. Like and this box arrived. In which we have a 
one of those for my slowly growing German force. Um, I do like these kits. I can only pick that up for about 15 quid, including postage. There's that. And this, which will be in German colours, and this is for my. I have a um, inkling to do a lot more bolt action, but set in Normandy uh, this year. So I'm going to start collecting a few of the odd um, German vehicles. Uh, I don't know if these are part of the 21st Panzer Division, but I like those little sort of um, sewing machine kits, as I think they're cool. So I look forward to painting up this. I think it's quite large. So that's that. I've got a few more things coming, uh, which I'll do an updated video for. But I have got a, uh, a care package from my good friend Sean Bryant, who's the uh, painting maestro. He has a um, he's a professional painter. Paints some lovely figures. I'll leave a link below for him because he's such a lad. And he sent he sent me this box the other day, or it came through today. And you um, thought to see what's inside it. If I can get it open without embarrassing myself. I have a feeling I know what's in there. In here, for muskets and tall hawks, is a good blaze. Ah. AW miniatures, French infantry, brilliant, British infantry, some cavalry, um, and some. British Grenadiers. Oh, brilliant. Let's see, this French infantry, I've got six left. I think there's 20 here. That should give me two more units of 12. There you go. Thank you, Sean. Um, I was going to buy you a beer or at least a cup of coffee at Salute, but um, we'll have to wait till next year. We have two then. Magic. Thanks very much. Yes, so, um, I think all, as a community we shall all rise to the occasion uh, and post more videos and keep each other informed and to keep each other company while we paint in these uh, rather trying times and um, we all pull together and the world will be a better place, I'm sure. Uh, once again, Sean, thanks very much and uh, I'll keep you posted.